Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I am sitting here intentionally in front of a Casio Privia PX560 because this is still Casio's flagship model for stage pianos after NAM 2019. Now this video is not about this, but I just want to assure you for those that were on the fence about getting a PX560, you don't need to worry about it. It is still Casio's top of the line flagship slab piano or stage piano. Okay. Now, that being said, they've introduced two new pianos in a brand new Privia series called the S series. They have the Privia PXS 1000 and the PXS 3000. Now, it won Best in Show at NAMM, and it got Keyboards Key Buy Award for Outstanding Value. This is one awesome keyboard, that S-Series. All right, now, one thing I want to get clear right off the bat, and I'm going to tell you this because you're not going to hear this on pretty much any other review video or anything like that. The chips that they're using, the sound chips that they've used in the past for the Privia piano is the AIR chip, A-I-R, Acoustic Intelligent Resonator. Now that is designed to excel at acoustic piano, which it does. And it's been used in the previous Privia piano lines. It does an awesome job of that. And... Last year, they introduced a new chip called AIX, Acoustic Intelligent Expression. And they used that in the new CTX line, which was the Compact 61 Key Series keyboards. And basically, it excelled in every acoustic instrument that was not piano. Okay? So it was designed for non-piano acoustic instruments. And people thought that, you know, this is a new chip, so it's better than the air chip. No, they're two different things for two different purposes. Air still excels in acoustic piano, and that's what it's designed for. And AIX excels in non-piano acoustic instruments that's what it was designed for they both do their job very well now wouldn't it be cool if you could combine the two well that's exactly what casio did now they're not so great at explaining that aspect of it but basically if you were to give a name to this new chip it would be called air 2 acoustic intelligent resonator Two. Basically, it really outdoes the previous air chip as far as acoustic pianos. And it also incorporates the AIX sound chip into this new chip that they developed. So you're getting the best of both worlds in this brand new Privia PXS series, whether it's the Model 1000 or or the 3000, it doesn't matter. The, the S1000 has 18 different sounds to it or instruments. And the S3000 has 700 different instruments or sounds to it. All right. So I wanted to get that out of the way so that you know that this is an improvement all across the board. And it doesn't stop there. Aside from the looks, the key bed is brand new. It's newly developed. Now, if you take a look at this PX560 that I have in front of me, which is kind of typical of all the rest of the Privia PX line, it is compact. I mean, it's not very deep. It's not very high. It's not much wider than the 88 standard keyboard style keys. So what do you get with the new one? It's even slimmer. And... It is high gloss, it's polished. If you were to take a new smartphone that you bought, it looks so nice. It's polished and it's just awesome to look at till you mess it up putting it in the case. 
then all of a sudden it looks like everything else. But the new Privia S series looks just like, <laughs> if I can give you an analogy, it's just like getting a new smartphone before you put it in the case. And you don't need to put it in a case because it's in its own case. It's a high luster black. Now the only downside I found with the high luster is fingerprints. Just like on your smartphone, you start touching the screen and you get some marks on there. Same thing with that. But you get a microfiber cloth, it cleans right up. All right, so that being said, couple of things about that. And I've already gone over the air chip and the new action design. Everything about it is better. If you look at this right here, which is typical of the previous Privia series offerings, while it's pretty compact and slim, this is 26 and a half pounds. The new S series is like 24 and a half pounds. So it's really slim and compact, but when they read reduced the depth, they also had to reduce the key depth. So they had to redesign the entire key thing to fit. And when you get smaller keys, basically you get lesser performance. But Casio has proved us wrong on that. We get better performance on that. In fact, during the NAMM show, I kept going back to Casio's booth numerous times because I was so blown away by this. And everybody that I have come across that have tried the new key action, also blown away. There wasn't a single person that I found that wasn't blown away by this. So, all right. Now, to go along with that, they also offer a new slim three pedal unit. Now, in the past, if you wanted a triple pedal unit, which was the, basically the same offering as an acoustic piano. You had the sustain pedal, the sostenuto pedal, and the unicorda pedal. You had to also buy a stand with it in order to use the pedal. This time they're offering that without the stand. The new pedal will work without the stand. Very cool, and it supports half damper pedaling. All right. And also, of course, since it's a new design with new dimensions, the old case wouldn't work. So they designed a new carrying case, gig bag, whatever you want to call it. It's the SC800 carrying case. That has a price tag of $129.99, street price, U.S., and that three pedal unit I was mentioning is a street price of $99.99 US. All right, so basically there is so much to go over with all of these things. I, it's just beyond the scope of this video to cover everything. So let me just go over the briefs over here and throw this up on the screen at the same time. For the PXS1000, at $599 street price, which is just, it blows me away. And before I get into that, let me just also say, you probably already know this, but let me just also say, not only does it run on AC mains, you get a transformer and an adapter to plug into the wall so that you can run it on AC power, but it will also run on six AA batteries to give you a total of about four hours of performance. How cool is that? All right, so, and obviously, built-in speakers and uh, amplifier. So you've got the speakers that face the audience and some subtle speakers that face the performer. All right, so let's get into the briefs over here. Let's start with the S. 1000, it was stunning piano tones with damper and string resonance plus 17 other tones, smart scaled hammer action keyboard with simulated ebony and ivory key textures, polished top panel design with illuminated 
touch sensor controls. Let me just touch on that for a minute. When you have an S1000 in front of you, all you see is basically a power button and a knob. So you've got these touch controls that light up when you touch them. It is so cool, it's touch sensitive. So when you touch something, the control for it comes on or the whole panel comes on. So it is really cool. This is first class. You don't see any of the controls here unless you want to see them. It is so cool. I am so blown away and you will be too when you see that. So continuing on, Bluetooth audio for playing along with your favorite songs. Uh, designed to work with the free Cordana Play app. And unlike other manufacturers that go ahead and design things for iOS for your iPhone, this will also work with your Android phone. So they're not just limiting this to iPhones. You've got it for Android as well as iPhone. All right, a slim case that weighs less than 25 pounds. I've already gone over that. Powerful stereo speaker system plus two headphone and two quarter inch outputs. Optional AA battery power. Uh, AC adapter is included. Class compliant USB port with no drivers or installation needed. And then we go to the brief for the S3000 which is just $200 more, $799. But with that, you also get 700 tones instead of 18, 200 rhythms, and a three-track sound recorder. And again, smart scaled hammer action keyboard with simulated ebony slash ivory key textures, polished top panel design with illuminated touch sensor controls, Bluetooth audio for playing along with your favorite songs, a slim case that weighs less than 25 pounds, designed to work with the free Cordana Play for Piano iOS slash Android app, optional AA battery power, the AC adapter is also included, powerful stereo speaker system plus two headphone and two quarter inch outputs, class compliant USB port with no drivers or installation needed. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And words and even pictures cannot begin to convey what this is like underneath your fingertips as a pianist. And this you can play into the keys. Playing into the keys is very important to a pianist. And that's, you know, without going over everything else that everybody else has gone over, that's basically it in a nutshell. That's what I wanted to cover today. Now, I will be carrying these as a Casio reseller, and I will be taking pre-orders. Send me an email or a private message for now. I cannot answer public messages so please don't post this on my youtube channel send me a private message go to my website www.pianomanchuck.com and hit contact and send me a private message and i'll give you an awesome pre-order price so that's basically it in a nutshell and i hope you found this informative piano man chuck peace out thanks for watching